Okay, so this is um, this is current is charge divided by time. So remember milliamps. I'm going to throw you milliamps, right? Uh, that is the current is uh, 345 times 10 to the minus three. That's what milli means, right? Amps, which is 0 0.345. Milliamps is really common, right? And then one minute, our time is 60 seconds. And I do believe that will be the, you know, the height of difficulty here is that I will, I will give you minutes. <laughs> okay, whoa, I think you can handle it though. Okay, so let's see, uh, 0 0.345 is the charge. And that's coulombs per second, right? And then the time is 60 seconds. Okay, so our charge will be 60 times that, right? 60 times 0 0.345, 20.7. There you go. <laughs> Delta Q is 20.7 coulombs. So uh, two things are important to remember here. The first thing is that, you know, this is like, when we're talking about electrostatics, that is uh, a lot of charge, right? Okay. But remember that uh, if you're looking at a wire, that these are just electrons that are, for, for your microscopic view, right? These electrons are just traveling along and they are not very far from their nuclei. Okay. So we're not talking about 20.7 coulombs of charge sitting here isolated. We're talking about 20.7 coulombs of electrons just sort of shuffling by. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what's going on. Um, there you go. Oh, and the second thing, I said there were two important things. And the second thing is that, a, that an ampere is not a coulomb uh, per second. An ampere is the current flowing in each of two long, straight parallel wires exactly one meter apart, such that there's a force of two times 10 to the minus seventh newtons per meter of length of the wire. There you go. We will be uh, addressing that definition of the ampere.